Hello, good morning and welcome to Steve's weekly vlog number 104. It is Monday morning, just woke up and for the first part of this morning I woke up, I've been checking social media, watching EastEnders 2009 on BBC iPlayer, as always on a Monday morning on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus right now. I'm currently watching The Big Bang Theory. I'm just about to get dressed but before I do though I'm just uh, going to open up my curtain. It does seem like it is a very bright morning out there this morning. The sun is shining, not a single cloud in the sky. A little bit damp though, uh, probably from the rain that we had yesterday and stuff. But uh, yeah, looking all good out there. Anyway, just about to get dressed on this Monday morning. So I'm just about to make myself my first cup of tea of the day and take my morning medication. I'm also just about to put some dirty washing into the washing machine and put the washing machine on. And also, I'm also just about to have some breakfast for breakfast say I've got some chocolate nut pillow cereal. I am out in this glorious sunshine on this Monday morning taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the backfield. Just about to have a shave. Now watching an episode of Classic Dot 2 on BritBox. For dinner I have chicken dipper and chips. Watching today's two episodes of Classic EastEnders on UK TV Play. Watching tonight's episode of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer. Watching tonight's episode of Emmerdale on ITV Hub. Watching tonight's episode of Coronation Street on ITV Hub. Tonight, and I have taken Buddy out for his last walk of the evening around the neighbourhood. I've also uh, sorted out my flask, uh, ready for me to make a cup of tea when I wake up in the morning, or flask of tea when I wake up in the morning to take with me to work. And I've also made myself my last cup of tea of the evening as well, which I'm just about to take my nighttime medication with and as you can see I've also gotten into my pyjamas as well and got my work uniform already because I did earlier today put that into the tumble dryer along with all my other washing that I did put in there as well and I've taken all of that out of the tumble dryer and I've put it away in my wardrobe so it's all nice neat and put away um, but in the meantime though I am going to wrap this part of the weekly vlog here and obviously uh, I will talk to you guys in the next scene of the weekly vlog which will be Tuesday uh, but for now though I'm just about to shut my curtains and say good night world see you tomorrow I'm starting my day by taking buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighborhood just made my flask of tea to take with me to work and put my apple watch on my wrist way to work as I'm doing a quarter past six to quarter past ten shift Got into work and made myself my flask of coffee while I listen to some music on my phone and check the entertainment news on Digital Spy. So I have just got home from work and I'm just about to get out of my work uniform. was going to go to the cinema today but I have had to delay my cinema trip to Thursday this week. Reason being is because obviously this afternoon I do want to focus on a couple of things around the house and obviously join the social call with my support workers and some of their other clients as well on uh, Google Classroom. So I have delayed my uh, cinema trip uh, to go and see the movie Moonfall until Thursday this week so you'll see my review of that a little bit later on in this week's weekly vlog um, but yeah and also as well the time that I was going to go and see the movie was at, at 10 to 12 this morning uh, the time now being 10.52 and obviously I've got to get out my work uniform and take Buddy out and stuff uh, I just thought it would just be too much of a rush um, and the last thing I want is to really tire myself out so uh, so for the rest of today really I'm just going to focus on uh, some of the things that I need to do around the house um, and uh, I might even do some cooking a little bit later on this evening and even tomorrow evening as well um, and then yeah Thursday after I finish work on Thursday I will definitely go and see Moonfall at the cinema uh, in Bournemouth Watching classic Coronation Street on ITV Hub. I'm watching classic Doctor Who on Brickbox. Ready for a second walk of the day around the backfield. Made myself a cup of tea and just about to take my morning medication and have a shave. Now watching Arrow. For lunch today, I've got scrambled egg on toast with some onion rings, and I've also got a split pot biscuit, uh, which is a vanilla flavored milk chocolate digestive yogurt as well. Now watching the Big Bang Theory on Netflix. It is Tuesday afternoon and I have just finished having my uh, social call uh, with my support workers and some of their clients on Google Classroom on my iMac. My mum has gone out at the moment, she's just gone up to Poundland at Mallard Road Retail Park in Bournemouth just to get a couple of bits from there. 
Um, so I'm kind of dog sitting the dogs at the minute and I am also just about to clean my chinchilla cage out as well on this Tuesday afternoon. I've moved on to my next binge watch of Friends on Netflix, which I'm currently watching on my iPad downstairs in the kitchen right now. And I'm also cooking dinner, so right now I'm cooking some pasta in the saucepan right here. I've also got some uh, mixed veg going on there right now. And I've got the oven going because I'm making tuna pasta bake, which the pasta bake sauce is right there. And this is how my tuna pasta bait turned out. Looks so delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Stay morning and I have just got home from work after doing a quarter past six to quarter past eleven shift at work. And I've also got out my work uniform taking Buddy out for his second walk of the day around the backfield. So just made myself a cup of tea and just about to take my morning medication. And I'm also just about to have a shave as well. And on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, I'm currently watching some classic episodes of Coronation Street on ITV Hub. Watching classic Doctor Who on Britbox. Gonna have some Jive chocolate bars whilst watching Arrow on my Tab S7 Plus. Watching Friends on Netflix. So I'm currently outside at the moment as I'm going up to Mallard Road Retail Park in Bournemouth as I'm seeing my support worker Joe. Because I didn't see him on Monday due to some personal reasons um, on his side of course. So I'm going to be seeing him today. We're going to go to Costa Coffee, have a coffee, have a catch up and just have a bit of a chinwag really chit chat so i've just got back home and straight away i'm on my imac right now on samsung.com as i'm just about to watch the samsung galaxy unpacked event where they're going to be hopefully announcing the s22 s22 plus and s22 ultra alongside hopefully the Galaxy Tab S8, which has been long rumoured as well. Uh, so I'm going to be watching that right now on my iMac, and I'm also going to be live tweeting that on my Twitter page, at my name is Stevo as well. Um, by the way, there is going to be a uh, weekly podcast special video that will be out on my YouTube channel, Steve Official, by the time this vlog goes out, as a matter of fact. Uh, so feel free to check out that video if you've not yet seen it. Um, check it out, it's available on my YouTube channel, Steve Official. Uh, or alternatively, you can listen to the audio version of that podcast, um, which I am going to be recording a little bit later on in this weekly vlog, as a matter of fact. But that podcast will be available right now um, on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts and Spotify Music. Just search for Steve's weekly podcast to give it a listen. Now watching today's classic episodes of EastEnders on UK TV Play. So for dinner tonight I have cooked a three cheese chicken Kiev with some chips and some mixed vegetables as well and I've also got some tomato sauce for my chips. Now just about to have my mango and passion fruit smoothie on this Wednesday evening. Catching up on tonight's episode of Emmerdale on ITV Hub on my TV in my bedroom. Catching up on tonight's episodes of Coronation Street on ITV Hub. Now watching the Nintendo Direct for today. I'm currently watching that on YouTube on my iMac. So just finished watching the Nintendo uh, Direct that took place today. Um, so very interesting games, obviously I'm going to go through it all in a separate video on my YouTube channel which is available to watch right now as well so if you've not yet watched it feel free to give it a watch after the weekly vlog has ended. Uh, it's kind of a visual weekly podcast that I've done where I do talk about um, all the announcements that were announced at the Nintendo Direct but just a couple of um, highlights that I'm just going to mention here in the weekly vlog is I'd probably say there's a Disney Mario Kart style game uh, that's coming out where you can play as like Sully from Monsters Inc or Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck or etc etc so I'm looking forward to seeing that game uh, coming out on Nintendo Switch a little bit later this year. Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports uh, which is basically Wii Sports for the Nintendo Wii all those years ago but except for the Nintendo Switch console that looks very very interesting as well. I uh, really look forward to that. The only disappointing thing I would say is that I'm only disappointed in the fact that 
there was no Mario Kart 9 announcement. Instead, they decided to do a paid downloadable content, or DLC for short, um, where you basically get all these uh, different tracks. By the end of 2023, there's going to be 48 new tracks added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. Um, and uh, a lot of them have been remastered, um, and they're old tracks that were used in some of the old Mario Kart games and we're talking like Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart DS I believe even Mario Kart Tour which the smartphone um, app has even got a couple of racing tracks from that uh, in the expansion pack as well um, so they are going to be doing it in waves I believe there's going to be like eight waves of where there's going to be brand new added tracks to the um, expansion pack uh, the first one is dropping in March um, but yeah a lot of people are saying that they're really excited by this a lot of other people are saying that it's a shame that we're not getting Mario Kart 9 uh, which has been long rumoured for a really long time now um, but hopefully we will get Mario Kart 9 I, I should imagine if they're doing this expansion pack until the end of 2023 I should imagine we will probably end up getting Mario Kart 9 on the next Nintendo console, either in 2024 or even 2025, um, if they announce a new Nintendo console by then. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be seeing a new Mario Kart game coming out anytime soon, that's for sure, especially with this new announcement of the expansion pack as well. Um... But there we go. Anyway, I have, like I say, I have spoken more in detail about all the announcements uh, from today's Nintendo Direct in a separate YouTube video, which you guys are more than welcome to look at after watching this week's weekly vlog. In the meantime, though, uh, it is just coming up to 11pm, and I do now need to head off to bed. Just about to take my nighttime medication and drink the rest of my cup of tea as well uh, before I head to bed. So I will speak to you guys in the next scene of the weekly vlog, which will be... Thursday morning. Good morning, it's Thursday morning. Happy Nintendo Direct, Samsung Galaxy Unpacked and Disney Q1 Financial Calls Boxing Day. It is Thursday morning. Uh, just woke up and got dressed into my work uniform and currently taking Buddy out for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. Put my Apple Watch on my wrist and made myself a flask of tea to take with me to work. Went to work and made myself a flask of coffee and I'm currently listening to some music on my phone while checking social media. It is currently uh, Thursday afternoon and I have uh, done the usual stuff really. I've uh, got home from work, uh, got out my work uniform and I have also... I didn't take Buddy out though because Buddy was running around the garden with Simba. My sister came over and yeah and obviously they were just running around the garden so I didn't take Buddy out for his walk. But I did make myself a cup of tea, take my medication, watch an episode of Arrow, watch an episode of Classic Dot 2 on Brickbox, and watch two classic episodes of Coronation Street on ITV Hub. And I'm now outside because I'm catching the bus up to, um, well, from Castle Point up to Bournemouth Town Centre. And I am just about to go to the cinema and watch the movie Moonfall. So I will give you my thoughts on that a little bit later on in the vlog. And. I am also going to go out for lunch at Spoons, um, with the Spoons. So, without further ado, let's find out and see what I had today at lunch at Weatherspoons. So, I am at Moon in the Square in Bournemouth and I have got a tuna melt panini for lunch with some chips and I've also got a Pepsi Max cherry. I'm just about to go and screen three to go and see Moonfall at Odium uh, Cinemas in BH2 in Bournemouth. Thursday night and I have just got back from the cinema after watching Moonfall. First of all, can I just say I'm a bit devastated because I don't know where my hat went. <laughs> um, so you may have seen just before I went to Weather Spoons, I was wearing my Xbox hat. And then obviously I then went to the cinema and I'm pretty certain I was wearing it when I went to the cinema. Um, and then... I left the cinema, I went to the toilet and then realised I wasn't wearing my hat and I looked in my bag and it weren't in my bag like in any of my, well in any of the pockets in my bag 
It weren't in my coat pocket, it weren't in my trouser pockets neither. Um, I mean, I've literally just looked in the Tesco bag that I took with me where I put all my snacks and my drink, and it's not in there neither. And I went back after I went to the toilet, I went back into the screening and went back to my seat to see if I could find it. I even put a, a torch on my phone, I even shone the uh, shone the torch around uh, around my seat to see if I could find it and I still couldn't find it so I have no idea where my Xbox hat went so there we go I lost my Xbox hat at some point today which is a shame because I really like that hat but never mind I've still got this hat here yeah I can wear I mean it'll still keep my head warm but it just meant I, I went home with a very cold head um, and a very naked head too um, but there we go. Uh, but anyway, I did go and see Moonfall, though, at the cinema. Can I just add, right, that I've seen a lot of people talk about Moonfall and how crazy it is. Even my friend Kieran told me last week on video call um, that Moonfall is the most craziest and bizarrest movie he has ever seen in terms of a world-ending movie. Um, which essentially that is what Moonfall is. It is about the world coming to an coming to the end because of the moon. Um, and it's obviously it's all because the moon has come out of orbit in space and stuff like that. Um, but there's a reason behind it. Now I'm not going to go into that reason so much um, because I just feel as though it, this is definitely a movie that is worth seeing at the cinemas. I will admit that I remember seeing the trailer for this a couple of months ago and the trailer didn't really do the movie justice. But if you don't don't go by the trailer, go and see this movie in the cinemas. I definitely 1000% recommend it because I tell you what, this is a brilliant movie to watch, especially on the big screen. Uh, the visuals in it are absolutely amazing. It is the most craziest world ending movie I have ever seen ever um that's probably best to put it that way um and it has got some humor in it it is quite funny in places as well um i absolutely love it i really did love it um so i definitely 1000 or 10000 percent whatever i definitely do recommend that you guys go to the cinema and go and see moonfall it is available right now in your local cinemas at the time of recording this weekly vlog now on this Thursday night, I am currently watching some episodes of Classic EastEnders on UK TV Play. Well, as I have no room to sit anywhere downstairs, I'm eating my dinner upstairs in my bedroom. But for dinner tonight, I've got baked beans with some sweet potato with some grated cheese on top of it. And I've also got a nacho steak thing uh, to go alongside that as well. That is my dinner tonight night and I'm just about to have a Skype video call with my friend Kieran like I normally do each Thursday night uh, so yeah I'm just about to have a Skype call with him watching tonight's two episodes of Emmerdale on ITV Hub on my iMac watching tonight's episode of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer on my iMac it is Friday morning and I have just made myself a cup of tea and I am just about to record this week's weekly podcast which you guys can listen to right now on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and Spotify Music and I'm also going to do a visual version of the podcast this week as well um, because I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Direct so feel free to check that out. It is available to watch uh, right now on my YouTube channel that is Steve Official which is the channel that you're currently watching right now, by the way. Um, so, yeah, so feel free to check that video out um, once you have finished watching this week's weekly vlog, if you have not yet seen it. Uh, obviously, I will be covering all the Nintendo Direct news, um, as well as covering some other bits of news, um, bits and pieces and stuff um, that has been announced over the last week. So I'm going to be covering all of that in this week's podcast. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, it's time for me to record um, and film this week's weekly podcast. So it is Friday night and I am currently watching an episode of Classic EastEnders on UK TV Play on my Samsung Galaxy S7 Plus 
device and I have also just got back from Bournemouth Town Centre as well because I had to take my mum to the dentist for her dentist appointment which was meant to be last week but it got cancelled last week due to their systems being down but obviously I went there today with her um, and we also had some dinner while we were out so for dinner tonight I had a, another uh, chicken Big Mac meal um, again uh, with some chips and a Maltesers McFlurry as well um, and I also had an iced frappe um, drink as well which was very very nice by the way um, so yeah so I had that for my dinner tonight um, and other than that that's pretty much it also as well actually I have recorded a podcast which is available right now to watch on my YouTube channel Steve Official if you've not yet seen it feel free to check it out uh, after this week's weekly vlog there's a couple of videos for you guys to check out if you've not yet seen them uh, on my YouTube channel which have been released separately this week but um, uh, obviously, I was just about to say that um, this was some news which broke earlier today. Um, actually, this was news that broke earlier today um, by Netflix. Um, so basically, Netflix have a little bit of a library in terms of some Marvel content, um, which is branded as Netflix Originals. Now, those Netflix Originals consist of Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, The Punisher, Daredevil, The Defenders, uh, Luke Cage is another one, etc, etc. It now seems like all of the Marvel content that is on Netflix right now globally, um, so like The Punisher, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, etc, etc, all those uh, shows are going to be leaving Netflix on March the 1st, and it seems that Disney have now claimed the rights back uh, to those shows, which does ultimately mean that they could potentially be arriving on Disney Plus in the next couple of months internationally. Some people are saying it could, in the US, end up on Hulu in the United States, but because they're now starting to bring in more general uh, entertainment for US audiences and it's not all going to Hulu, I can imagine that they'll end up sticking these shows under the Marvel Hub on Disney Plus um, in the US. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit of news that I didn't bring to you on the podcast um, earlier today, but I thought I would mention the weekly vlog. So it's annoying because there is a, there is a couple of shows which I really did want to see on Netflix, like Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, uh, The Punisher, etc. I wanted to watch all of those shows on there, but now that they're going to be coming off of Netflix on the 1st of March, there is no point in me starting any of those shows. I'm probably now just going to wait until they arrive on Disney Plus at some point later this year um, and then start binging my way through those shows as soon as they're added. So right now I'm currently updating my Xbox One console because it needs an update right now. So I'm just updating that and then once the update is done I'm going to look at Xbox Game Pass and see what game I'm going to play as I'm doing my very first Twitch stream of 2022 this evening. I decided to go live probably from around about 7pm until 8 p.m. ish maybe even 8 30 p.m. or something like that um we'll see how long i can go with streaming on twitch um but yeah i'm really excited to be back doing twitch streaming again i am going to be doing um on i'm going to be streaming on twitch every friday and saturday um and so i am going to do that i'm probably not going to do a twitch stream tomorrow night though because i am going to be kind of binge watching my way through uh, the book of boba fett tomorrow but um i am going to be doing a twitch stream tonight and then starting from uh, probably for the next few weeks i might just do twitch streams on a friday night um just for the time being um and then starting hopefully a little bit later on in the year i will do two nights a week on a friday and a saturday night um, I'll do Twitch streaming then, but uh, yeah, if you do want to give me a follow and follow along and watch my live broadcasts on a Friday, feel free to. Uh, the username on Twitch is Steve Crosby Official. Uh, feel free to follow me, and again, 
feel free to subscribe to me on Twitch as well as I am a Twitch affiliate. Oh, Microsoft Xbox, you cock tease! I literally, look, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator Game Pass, but you can only play it on the Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. But yet, under the Xbox Game Pass for Xbox One players, it is there. But look, when I do press on it, look, here we go, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Look, when I press on it, look what it says down there at the bottom, not compatible. Microsoft Xbox, you utter cock tease. Now watching some episodes of Friends on Netflix. Now watching tonight's episode of Coronation Street on ITV Hub. So I've just finished watching tonight's episode of EastEnders over on BBC iPlayer. I'm back over to ITV Hub now on my TV in my bedroom as I'm currently watching tonight's episode of Emmerdale. Hey, so I've just had a shower and I have got myself into my pyjamas ready for bed. I'm just about to take my nighttime medication with my last cup of tea of the evening. I've also gone downstairs and sorted out my flask, ready to obviously do my flask of tea for work in the morning and stuff, because obviously I do have work tomorrow morning. So I'm going to wrap this part of the vlog up here, and I will talk to you guys in the morning, which will be Saturday morning. Bit of a cold, windy start to this Saturday morning. But good morning, it is Saturday morning. I've just woke up and just got dressed into my work uniform. And I'm starting my day by taking Buddy out for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. But I've made my flask of tea and I've got my Apple Watch on my wrist. I would have recorded that at home, but my mum um, is asleep in the living room as well as my sister, because my sister came over uh, yesterday. But I am currently on my way to work as I'm doing a quarter past six till quarter past eleven shift at work on this Saturday morning. Just got into work and made myself a flask of coffee before I start work and I've also just had some peanut butter on toast for breakfast this morning. Saturday afternoon, just got home from work after doing my quarter past six, quarter past eleven shift and got out my work uniform. Currently outside on this beautiful sunny Saturday afternoon, a little bit chilly, a little bit windy as well. Um, and I'm currently on the backfield taking Buddy out for his second walk of the day. So just made myself a cup of tea and I'm currently watching an episode of Arrow on my uh, Galaxy Tab S7 Plus device and I've also taken my morning medication as well. I'm watching classic Doctor Who on BritBox. I'm watching the Masked Singer UK on BritBox right now on my Tab S7 Plus device. And also as well this afternoon I've been watching the Book of Boba Fett because all seven episodes are available to watch right now on Disney Plus. Um, and I must say that I enjoyed the series. I think the first four chapters are a little bit slow burning. Um, but I mean... I watched them anyway because obviously it's part of the story, part of the series as well. I do believe that The Book of Boba Fett has actually set up maybe a second season of The Book of Boba Fett. Um, and it definitely has set up season three of The Mandalorian, which we should be getting on Disney Plus a little bit later on this year. Hopefully around about uh, Christmas uh, this year is when we're going to be getting season three of The Mandalorian. Um, I mean, I, I absolutely loved it. I thought the visuals in it were great. The set designs in it were great. The music in it was great. Some of the music score... Um, well, actually, the music score itself is done by the same composer who does the music scoring for uh, The Mandalorian, um, so, which is really, really good. Um, but, yeah, there are a couple of... Um, there's a couple of, like, um, pieces of music and stuff that they use in the in the series which is a little bit well i find it quite cinematic to be honest there's a lot of explosions in it which is always great as well uh, so a couple of explosive scenes in that um i mean you've got other characters in it as well r2d2 uh, you've got order 66 cad bane is in it you've got ahsoka in it luke skywalker grogu the mandalorian um literally there was two episodes of the book of boba fett chapter five and chapter six which didn't even feel like it was the Book of Boba Fett. It felt like it was a Mandalorian um, uh, episode. It really did. Um, and I think it is because they were using the same kind of music style as what you would expect in a Mandalorian episode. 
um, Boba Fett was nowhere to be seen in one episode, really. Um, he was seen in in Chapter 6, but only by a couple of minutes or so. He wasn't really in it for too long. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I did enjoy this series. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I really am looking forward to seeing Obi-Wan Kenobi when that drops on Disney+. Plus. That's going to be the next Star Wars series, uh, which is going to be dropping on Disney+, Plus on May the 25th, which is the 45th anniversary of when the first Star Wars movie, uh, A New Hope, uh, came out. Um, so, but yeah, I really am looking forward to that. Um, and as I mentioned, all episodes of the book of Bob, uh, book of Boba Fett is available to watch right now on Disney Plus. For dinner tonight, I have got some mashed potato with some mixed veg and some nice little casserole. I could have nearly have died, literally. I was just standing up because I was sitting on my bedroom floor, and as I went to stand up, I kind of like tripped over my wall. Um, I don't even know how that happens, but that happens. And then obviously my work bag was on my floor, so I nearly tripped over that. And I could have gone flying, could have smacked my head on my unit. And yeah, that could have been the end of me. And there we go. Anyway, it is Saturday night. I am just about to go and grab my coats. Um, but you guys can hopefully still hear me while I'm off camera. Um, but I'm just grabbing my coat because I'm just about to take Buddy out for his last walk of the evening. I'm only going to take him around the block because it is currently raining outside. Um, so I'm not going to be out there too long with him. Um, but I just want to say that I've had such a wonderful evening actually. Um, because me and Zoe, we had a video call which first of all started off on Instagram. And then it moved over to WhatsApp because her Instagram was playing up and the signal was just really, really bad. But once we were on a uh, WhatsApp video call, the video call was just running smoothly, which is good. But really did enjoy it. Um, she was sending me loads and loads of pictures of um, her daughter, Madison, and um, sending me lots of vid uh, videos of, of Madison as well. She is such... A character. She really, really is a character. Um, so, and I do look forward to hopefully having um, more video chats with Zoe and hopefully uh, getting to talk to her daughter, Madison, as well um, in the next couple of weeks as well. Really, I'm looking forward to uh, doing that. But, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I've had a wonderful night having a video chat with her. Um, obviously, I went downstairs. I showed her Simba as well because um, she wanted to see how small Simba was. Um, and she also saw Buddy as well because I had Buddy up here with me earlier um, when we first started video calling. And I even went down and she got to speak to my mum as well and have a bit of a catch up with my mum. Um, so, yeah, honestly, I had a really, really lovely evening talking to her. Um, and we are continuing to have a conversation between now and when I go to bed. We're just having a couple of uh, Snapchat conversations with each other before we uh, both head off to bed. Um, but, yeah, in all seriousness, though, I, I do absolutely love talking to Zoe. I really do. Um, so, massive, massive thank you uh, to Zoe for making my Saturday night really entertain you know very entertaining because yeah i did absolutely love seeing the photos of madison i loved seeing the videos of madison and i loved uh absolutely talking to her as well so 100 percent um but in the meantime though i am just about to take buddy for his last walk of the evening as i said around the neighborhood so I've just got myself ready for bed and I'm just about to take my nighttime medication with my last cup of tea of the evening before I do head off to bed as I've got work tomorrow so I do need to get myself off to bed. But before I do though I just want to very quickly talk about this because I've come across this quite a few times over on, Net, uh, over on Twitter tonight and even today and even in the last couple of days as well. So first of all I just want to say that you may or may not have noticed this, but over on Netflix right now, there is a last day to watch for a couple of shows. Now, a couple of those shows happen to be the 
Marvel shows that are on Netflix and I'm talking things like The Punisher, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Daredevil and there is another one in there as well which I may have missed but all of those shows are going to be leaving Netflix on the 1st of March and by no surprise uh, obviously these are Netflix originals now this is where the confusing thing is so a lot of people are, are complaining that it's a Netflix original so why is it leaving Netflix can I just say that this isn't the first time that a show or a movie that has been branded as a Netflix original has left Netflix um, there's been quite a few in the last couple of months that I have seen myself which have ended up expiring on Netflix and they are Netflix originals and it's purely because the companies behind those shows or behind those movies the license obviously they've licensed that show or movie out to Netflix Netflix therefore have slapped the brand Netflix original onto that show or movie until the license comes to an end after that it then goes back to the uh, company that has made that show or made that movie and then after that they then decide what it does with that show or movie in the future it could go to another streaming service or it could just go into a vault and we could never see or hear from that show or movie again now um, obviously with these shows that I said Daredevil, Punisher, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones etc all those shows have got Netflix original slapped onto their name of the show however it weren't Netflix themselves who made the show it was Marvel-ABC um, that made those shows and obviously both of those companies are owned by Disney so that does mean that obviously uh, Marvel uh, Television and ABC licensed those shows out to Netflix globally which obviously then made them Netflix originals. Um, but now that we've got Disney Plus and obviously Marvel Studios have taken over in terms of doing TV shows and stuff like that. That does now mean that Disney by their own rights could in theory take back those shows from Netflix they could take back Jessica Jones because they have the right to do that so basically Disney have come to some early agreement with Netflix to uh, take those shows off of their streaming service Disney are within the next few weeks or so going to announce the new streaming home for those shows I don't think they're going to be disappearing from streaming services for a while I think we, it's probably going to be for a very short period of time it could be that we could end up seeing it here in the UK and in other international countries for example we could see it um, end up on uh, Disney Plus um, by April I should imagine by April at the very earliest I reckon if not by April then by May at the latest is when we will see those shows land on Disney Plus. In the US, it could go either way. Now that the US is starting to introduce general entertainment for more mature audiences out there, they could end up sticking it on Disney Plus under the Marvel Hub, or alternatively, they could end up sticking it on Hulu over in the US as well. So it all does depend what happens there. But it does make total sense for Disney to do this. They are going to start bringing those shows over to Disney+. Plus. Um, there are some other shows uh, which are Disney properties which are going to be leaving Netflix at the end of this month or beginning of March. Uh, for example, American Horror Story Seasons 1 to 8 um, is going to be leaving Netflix here in the UK. Understandably, it's going to end up on Disney+. Plus because we've already got seasons 9 and 10 on Disney+, Plus, so it makes sense 
for all the other previous seasons to be on the streaming platform as well. Uh, the People vs. O.J. Simpson, another one, is going to be leaving Netflix at the beginning of March. And again, that will most likely shift over to Disney Plus as well. There's quite a few um, shows and stuff which are expiring at the end of the month or beginning of March. And they will eventually end up on Disney Plus. So don't be surprised in the next couple of months if you do happen to see shows that were on Netflix here in the UK or in other international countries for that matter and have now instead decided to appear on Disney Plus. Um, it just means that Disney are now taking back full control of some of their shows and some of their movies that have been licensed out to uh, streaming services like Netflix and maybe even Prime Video for that matter. So that's a, that's another interesting thing is what's going to happen with some of these licensed contracts uh, with Prime Video. I know for a fact that they've got shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Futurama on Prime Video. So if Disney have got those licensing contracts out to Prime Video, what's going to happen to them if Disney are taking back full control? Are they going to keep those licensing contracts in place or are they going to end those contracts and then take back full control of those shows so that they stream exclusively on Disney Plus. Very interesting to find out. But anyway, I am now going to head off to bed. Uh, but I just thought I'd clear that up though in terms of the whole Netflix licensing content from Disney or Marvel, etc, etc. I just thought I'd clear that up because it is confusing. I do know. But I do also know the fact that they, they do have contracts put in place uh, for some stuff so uh, don't always assume that everything you see on Netflix when it's branded as a Netflix original is an actual original made by Netflix because some of the stuff on the streaming service is actually licensed content and all they've done Netflix is they've just slapped the name Netflix original onto that show or movie but anyway I'm now going to head off to bed I'm now about to shut my curtains as well and say good night world. See you tomorrow. I just woke up, just got dressed into my work uniform and I'm currently outside taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. I'm currently walking to work on this Sunday morning. Got my flask of tea right here and my Apple Watch on my wrist as well. Um, anyway, my sister decided to stay over again so I again couldn't feel me going just made my flask of tea um i'm currently on my way to work as i said and i'm doing a 6 45 till 11 45 shift at my work this morning and it's interesting that i'm filming this part of the weekly vlog around here because there is a road that i'm coming up to right now which is known as Wimborne road and there is a lot of work going on around here right now I don't know if you can see that that there's all that work there going on um, so I'm gonna have to without further ado open play. no cars are coming I'm on the road because this side of the uh, this side of the road here is also got loads of work like they've literally taken up all the footpathing oh, it's, it's awful i mean i'm glad it's a sunday yesterday i walked along this road here to get down to the footpath bit where i need to get onto and i was literally a mere few seconds from being hit by a car now there is a car coming up here oh dear <laughs> i don't want to get hit um so i'm gonna have to be very 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 quick in this but um yeah it's it's not good to be honest um oh hang on i can cut through here there we go and i am finally i'm on the grass but it's fine anyway that's awful <laughs> it's just awful it really is it's like you should really have some sort of public footpath for the public to walk on you know um rather than just walking in the road and potentially getting knocked over in the dark by a car luckily there's street lights around but there we go anyway as i said i am currently 
walk into work on this Sunday morning as I'm doing a 6.45 .6 to 11.45 shift at my work. I have just got into work and made myself a flask of coffee. I'm going to be starting work in about 40 minutes time and I'm on my phone right now checking social media and listening to some music on my headphones through Apple Music on my phone. Got home from work and just about to get out of my work uniform. Now watching an episode of The Masked Singer UK on BritBox. Watching classic Doctor Who on BritBox. Joy. Now watching Joy. Friends on Netflix. <laughs> So it is Sunday night, the weather outside is still looking dreadful, looking like it's really wet and really windy out there. Um, and I am just about to turn my iMac on, uh, reason being is because, well, a little bit later on I am going to be having a video call with my friend Kieran, as it is the usual Sunday night, so we're gonna have some Sunday night banter, I'm sure, on video call. Um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> I just burped. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, also, as well, um, I am gonna be watching the Gadget Cast live stream at 11 pm tonight. Um, if they are gonna go live, I don't think they went live last week, but hopefully, this week they'll be going live. Uh, over on YouTube to do their podcast or gadget cast, whatever you like to call it. And I am also going to be uh, submitting my questions for the What's on Disney Plus uh, YouTube channel page as well and getting those um, questions answered, hopefully during their live Q&A, which takes place from around about 8pm tonight UK time. Um, so yeah, I'm really I'm looking forward to that. Uh, other than that though, that is pretty much everything that I'm going to be up to. Obviously I'm going to have some dinner shortly as well, which I have no idea what I've got for dinner tonight, but um, there we go. Um, that is all from me for today and for this week. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this YouTube video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, feel free. Uh, to leave a comment in the comment section down below and uh, don't, for, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you are new around here and you've just discovered my YouTube channel Steve Official feel free to hit that subscribe button and become a Steve-O today um, I am going to be back with a separate video on Wednesday this week uh, I know this past week there's been quite a couple of uploads uh, on my YouTube channel Steve Official um, but I am going to be back uh, this week on Wednesday, um, which will be Wednesday the 16th of February. Um, at midnight UK time, I am going to be uploading a video which is all about the Nintendo Switch Online membership and what it can get you. And I'll even play a couple of the games and stuff that you can get as part of the Nintendo Switch Online membership as well uh, but in the meantime though it is goodbye and thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next youtube video